What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, B Boy Fast John TV, and tonight I'll do my breaking news. Jay Briscoe passed away. Um, this is my so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Now let's go over this article because this is my first time I ever did this video. Alright, aka some under the radar classic featuring Jay Briscoe wrestling without his brother Mark Briscoe teaming up with his brother Mark and even talking and take and take taking on his his brother Mark Briscoe. Alright. Wrestling lost one of the great one of the greats on Tuesday night. Jay Briscoe was um anger anger not not anger, I'm sorry. Arguably the greatest Ring of Honor wrestler ever. Some someone who had incredible matches for twenty years. After starting out as a teenager in Delaware, the real tra tragedy is that is that a family lost a father and many people lost lost a beloved friend. Pro wrestling fan. Yeah, pro, pro, pro wrestling fans lost an independent icon who one who will implore viewers to to watch the watch the tape. It just makes sense to to pay um home home age by running through some of Jay Briscoe's catalog of about. So I dug into Craze a bit and find some um lasers lesser known Jay Briscoe bangers. Think of it's a sample platter of the of the variety variety of matches he 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 ex ex call out. Let's call at. All right. So we look at the match like Jay Briscoe versus Mark Briscoe. Um, I I remember seeing this match. The, 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 this was a good match. So I remember seeing this match back in uh, in NWA Wild Wild Side Freedom Fight two thousand and two June. So I seen this. So this match was good. In addition to begin the tremendous tag team, the Briscoe brothers are incredible opponents for each other. I ten. The I I attended the C C Z W best of the best tournament for their first match against each other and t as teenagers in a pro wrestling I'm, I'm sorry pro ring I imagine there were there were hundreds of five star matches at the Briscoe Farm growing up where they capitalized a blood bloodthirsty C C Z W crowd. With Matt Wrestling, they had a legendary hardcore match at Random HCW show in Delaware that is one of the more uh, uncomfortably violent brawls. I remember seeing a seeing in several classic classic uh, against each other and Ring of Honor, including maybe the best cinematic match in wrestling history. Fight on the farm. What makes this match in what makes this match in NWA Wild Side so interesting is how they came in cold to a promotion as relative newcom newcomers. They have they they had one previous tag match early in the year. And in unsanctioned and and you, it says you and on un, under undercard match on a big bro. I'm sorry, on a big show, and through sheer talent, turn the turn the whole crowd into Briscoe super fans. The fans, ten minutes or so, it, so of this was all man all, all man wrestling headlock takeovers. On bar takedowns, reversals, and indie death locks, just a pair of brothers who want, who weren't in a feud showing up to a bar in Georgia and trying to 
trying to out grapple each other. Of course, tempers flare and they began to throw shots. Eventually, they moved pretty, pretty seamless, seamlessly into a series of hug moves and near falls. There is a great spot where Mark plays Fossil, acting like he's knocked out. And and as Jay started running the ropes, Mark Briscoe sprung up and cracked him with a shiny wizard to the jaw. Jay, Jay Briscoe turned Mark Briscoe inside out with a couple of hugs. Larry said drop, to, drop a toe, top rope leg on his throat. Coming to the end of the match, it looks like Mark will have Cornelia Georgia with with a win over his big brother as he hit him with a violent looking cutthroat burning hammer. Despite having his neck compares like a slinky slinky J kick kick out somehow and then we go out of a second cutthroat burning hammer to one I'm sorry to hit one of his nastiest J drillers and J J drillers I have ever seen. Um and I saw a bunch preparing for this article. Mark Briscoe kicked out as two but a second J Briscoe driller gave Big Brother the win. They probably did a bit too too much for their place on the card, but there was something great about watching a pair of kid kids kick in their barn door and make themselves known. So we get the Briscoes versus Madman Pondo and Nis Nisiro Butcher. Um, this was a FIP International Impact phrase to April two thousand and seven. Full Impact Pro was an ROA sister promotion that ran out of Florida and tended to have crowd that were way that were way more filled with kids and old people that the traditional neck neck beard hockey jersey wearing North East independent wrestling fans of their time. Imagine an entire crowd of Kevin Smith and Vicious Eyes. This was a street fight with the Briscoes defending their titles against the Deathmatch King, Death Ma yeah Deathmatch Kings, Madman Pondo and Nisiro Butcher. Of course, the Briscoes are perfectly exhausted about playing in their brutal backyard. Nisiro and Pondo will out a bunch of weapons, including a trash can full of light, full of light tubes, and it was hardcore from the bell. Just a match full of horrifying bits of violence. Nisiro Nisir Necro got sent face first through a set of light tubes and and hit and his spine got bent like a twizzler when he was suplexed on a guard wheel like Homer Simpson Homer Simpson's back getting punched by that fire hydrant Pondo Pond Pondo meet and meet the inside of that of that garbage can full of light tubes painted the inside of the can red while Pondo smashed a center block pla place on Jay's going with a sledgehammer. Even there, even the referee got an awesome bomb out of the ring by the way, by the way of a table. Um, it was more than just stunts through. There was no moment where they were throwing kicks, punches, or other objects at each other. This was a fist fight. First in a ten stunt show. Second, there was a a nice mix of kids who were super excited and kids who were kids who were vis visibly terrified, excited, and terrified. Kids are the best wrestling audience. The finish was totally legendary. Jay Briscoe stacked two sin stacked two tables on the top of each other in the back of the arena. He then pulled open a huge metal warehouse 
loading door, revealing Mark Briscoe per perched on top of a of a semi truck. Mark Briscoe then comes diving off of the truck, flying through the door and smashing Pondo through both tables. The Briscoes were brilliant at can convening the kind of war star hip hop level antics you you want to farm you want farm a bar barroom brawl match okay so we get Koda Ibashi and Ibushi versus I'm sorry Kota Ibushi and Austin Aries versus the Briscoes. ROA Sag Wars 2008, April 2008. Um, this I remember this match. I remember seeing this match. But anyway, let me read the article. Uh, let me continue to read the article. The Briscoes have gotten the most acclaim acclaim over the years for their ad aptitude and bloody brawls, but they were and incredibly well round well rounded tag team. They could work at work a classic slow Bill Southern tag match, either as heels or or as baby faces, and get the crowd rocking like it was Greens Greensboro. In ni in nineteen eighty six they were as good as anyone at the kind of high out can work breaks tag tag master by the young by the young bucks and Kenta with Nami Chi for Marju Marju Fuji this was this was a great example of that and they defended the ring of honor tag titles against Kota Ibushi and Austin Austin Aries two of the most athletic wrestlers in the world in two in two thousand eight the match started with a bunch of fast and intricate back and forth exchange between all four wrestlers. We see that kind of fast kip up arm drag exchange rope running stuff a lot of wrestling and it was and it and it is very easy to see the strings it is done a step a step slow or too comparatively, comparatively. The Briscoes could run through the that kind of thing. Possibly, it never felt like swing dancing, but always like always like part of an athletic contest. The Briscoes worked this match as heels, first cutting the ring off on Aries, Austin Aries, then on Ibushi, both times building to big hot tags. Ibushi finally broke through by knocking Jay Briscoe off the top rope with a handspring moonsault kick. He made his tag and we got a huge fin finishing run. Austin Aries came in cleaning house, laying out both guys and drilling Mark Briscoe with his missile like low tote. Ibushi hits his double moonsault and the Briscoes hit a spring springboard kick Springboard knee drop, bad breaker combo. Ibushi got whipped into the into the ropes and sprung right into a moonsault to the floor. As each as each spot got more and more impressive, the crowd began standing on their feet to show their roaring approval. The finish was the conda, the coda, the coda you want for this. Kind of sympathy, simp, sympathy, simp, 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 Arnie. The Briscoes clean, clean, clean out Austin Aries with the Doomsday device, leaving Ibushi alone in the ring with both champions. Ibushi lands some kicks and slap, but gets absolutely demolished by a clothesline. Before getting taken out with a spike, spike J driller for the pin, a fairy match that perfectly showcased the high wire talent of all four wrestlers. So it says the king of wrestling, Chris Hero and Claudio Cascanova versus the Briscoes, Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor. 
June two June twenty June twenty ten. Okay. The Kings were maybe the most significant rivals for the Briscoes. The early early matches in their rivalry featured four incredibly creative wrestlers. Color outside the lines and seeing what brilliant ideas they could come up with. By the time this match happened through the sporting robbery had turned very ugly. Chris Hero used a loaded elbow pad to uncut uncut Jay Jay Briscoe and put him out of action. The Briscoes had hit the J the J driller on Sarah Del Rey. The Kings of Wrestling's Valley Violet and Katsunoi and Chris Hero had taunt, taunted Papa Briscoe into jumping the, the the rail, then beat down the Powder families uh, families of the Briscoe clan. This led this lead to a the no disqualification match where the Briscoes were trying to regain their ROH World Tag Team titles. The match started with some classic hill hill with the Kings in the ring. Kings in the ring claiming the Briscoes couldn't make it through custom thus thus handed handing them the win by forfeit. Of course the Briscoes come out come on and the brawl is on with the Briscoes bumping the Kings all around the ring and, and ringside area. This felt like a very old school wrestling brawl. Like something that main event, the Dallas Sport Sport Tank Tournament, or the Mid South Coliseum in the nineteen eighty five. Mark Briscoe got got busted open badly, and the Kings just worked on the cut while Jay Briscoe was living and dying on the apron. Despite that, despite to make the tag, when Jay Briscoe came in, he pulled off. Pull off one of the greatest hot tags in wrestling history, highlighted by Jay Briscoe, smashing Chris Hero's head into the top turnbuckle 30 times in a row, with the entire crowd chanting along. A bloody hero um, coming up by the end. Jay Briscoe got busted open by a chair. Then they they then tie him tie him up by the throat and the outside ring post. So they could attack Mark Briscoe, biting him with a doomsday device, uppercut, combo, and elbow to the back of the of the head, and a rolling elbow to the jaw. Mark Briscoe barely survived each outslaw before Jay Briscoe finally got cut loose, coming back with a fire extinguisher and spraying both of the kings in the eyes. The Briscoe then worked them over to the joy of the crowd, which includes the cinematic their manager Shane Hag Hagador, um, with a doomsday device. Chris Hero, however, was able to pull out out the loaded elbow pad and blast Jay Briscoe with it. Jay Briscoe landed with his arm arms up like a con con call slap fight participant, but that only got a two count. However, moments later Cascano Giants swung swung and early glassly I J into the loaded pad assist assist a draw kick by Chris Hero for the win. Evil Tom Evil Trump Sally as it sometimes does, but what what a good battle they put up. Yeah, did that was a good match. I enjoyed that one. Okay, Jay Briscoe versus Samoa Joe for the yeah. It says Jay Briscoe versus Samoa Joe, Ring of Honor Supercar of Honor, IX March two thousand and fifteen. Okay, these two had a momentum mo, memorial memorable cage ma- match against each other during Samoa Joe's iconic Ring of Honor World Championship run. Then Jay Briscoe was was a twenty year old kid, twenty year old kid, a super successful tag 
wrestler who was out of his depth in the singles world. Samoa Joe destroyed Jerry Briscoe, beating him bloodily and bloody and near kicking him through a cage. Nearly twelve years later, the the situ the situation changed. Samoa Joe was in between his TNA and NXT run, eager to prove he could still be the man back where he made his name. Jay Briscoe was the Ring of Honor World Champion for a second time in the midst of a dominant singles run, all grown up, all grown up, and ready to show his old rival how much, how much, uh, me he put on his bones. Jay Briscoe had probably put on thirty, thirty, forty pounds of farm seasoning muscle in the time since. Their cage match. Samoa Joe was still the bigger man, but these were a pair of hard hitting heavyweights now, and this was a toe to toe hoss fight. The, the match started with some feeling, feeling out mat work, but soon the hands started beating thrown. Jay Briscoe showed his power by backing Samoa Joe into the corner with, with big forearms and overcuts. But Samoa Joe reverses him in a lot of his signature Chen Ru style job and chop combo. It was a stalemate early. Both guys showing their grumption, and Jay Briscoe showed he had developed the grown man strength needed to to match Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe showed off some of his some of the. Agility that made him such a phenomenal and phenom cutting off J cutting off AJ J top top with a jumping kick and hit another great looking one of of the corner. The, there were several big moves in this match, but they would continue to revert revert to standing in the pocket and trading chops. Um, kick, kick, jab, overcut, and forearms. You got the sense Jay Risco was determined to, to our power punch, our power punch the power puncher. Was he wasn't content to use his speed or skill. He wanted the KO, the KO even if that put him in the line of fire. Samoa so Joe really took over on the floor, sending Jay Briscoe hard into the guardrails and hitting a painted old kick, um, old leg kick, dive, driving his foot through Jay Briscoe's head into the metal. We also saw Samoa Joe rip off one of his painted submission combos on the mat, adding some bone powering knee hard to Jay Briscoe's sternum. Jay Briscoe kept coming through, marching, ma matching hard shot with hard shot, trying to t to try to tire Samoa Joe out while looking for his opening. It finally came when Samoa Joe attempted his muscle buster for the second time. Jay Briscoe was able to wiggle out and roll up Samoa Joe right into a Jay Driller, dropping all. Throwing three hundred pounds of Samoan uh, of Samoa Joe hard on his neck for the pin. It was a brutal world of action. It was a brutal world of attrition that resembled a Terry Gordy, uh, Gordy versus Doctor Dev Stevie Steve Williams big boy, <laughs> big boy punch out another transmission. Tremendous example of the viral, viral plate, pal, plate that Jay Briscoe could paint, could paint from. What a special, what a special talent he was. This is, uh, Phil Schneider is a co-founder of the Death Valley Driver Video Review, a writer on. The Sagonda Cha, the blog host of the way 
of the Blade podcast and the actor and the author of Way the Blade, hundreds of the greatest bloody matches in wrestling history, which is available on Amazon. He is on he is on Twitter at he is on Twitter. And um and yeah, that's all I got saved from here. Um, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of breaking news. Jay Briscoe passed away video. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or I go live on YouTube. Follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my WWE SmackDown review highlights. Um, and then I will see you guys Saturday for my WWE Royal Rumble review and highlights this Saturday. And that's all I got to say from here. But anyway, this your boy, Big Boy Fashion on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Keep your crew, keep your kings. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.